this furnace right here could easily heat uh, any any farmhouse in Dutchess County. Big old drafty farmhouse to keep yourself nice and warm on some grass pellets. <laughs> bag of pellets. A bag like this, 40 pounds, um, usually lasts about 24 hours, depending on how cold it is. That's the auger. spills right off this plate, builds up in this hopper. That's one of the reasons why I like this stove so much, is that that it you can you know you've got weeks of ash. You don't have to worry about any clinking or cleaning or anything. The ash just comes right off the plate and falls on the in the hopper and you clean it out once a month. Didn't bring my uh, box of starter gel, but you get pellet starter gel. So you lace the top of your fuel bed with the starter gel, and then, you know, one match. And when it comes up to temperature, this fan's gonna kick on and it's gonna blast all the hot air out. This is meant to go on a big piece of plenum ductwork to heat your whole house in the forced hot air system. There's a little bit of smoke burning off because they haven't oiled for the summer, but there is, we're only partially on file right now. And so it was 620 degrees in there in the main burn area, 677 in the burn, right? Uh, right here, the outside of the stove is 342, right, the top of the heat exchanger is 265, and our chimney exhaust gas is 153, so it's, it's pretty efficient in, uh, in capturing the heat. So you see how it's burning like a gas fire, a bottom lip, top. So we still don't, we still don't have complete uh, now the temperature is up to 835 in there. We still don't have the complete plate burning. When we get the complete plate burning, it's probably be up, you know, we'll get up to about a thousand degrees in there. Uh, up there, we see how much we're losing right there. Yeah, 100, still 100 degrees on the stack up there. The smoke up there is only about 70 degrees. There's really, you know, it's cloudy out, but very, very wispy, small trace of smoke up there. No, uh, no giant plume. And as our temperature rises here, there could be traces. This was the first time this stove was started up for this year. So, you know, we, we have got a little trace of smoke, but once we get up the temperature there, I, don't, I think your smoke will clear right up and you won't see any smoke at all. There won't be any emissions. It'll be absolutely clear. Nothing compared to a wood stove. Yeah. I mean, a wood stove, to get to this point, you know, we would have had hours of smoke to rise up to a temperature of 800 degrees. I mean, it was only a matter of minutes here, and we're at 800. You know, like within five minutes, we were up to temperature. You got a nice blue flame here. We're getting right into the coal there, and the carbon part of the burn. Seventy, coming up into nine fifty three, nine eighty six. You see at nine hundred here. You see how how the flame really cleared up and it's going blue. Mm -hmm. You see that how how we're really getting down into that carbon part of the burn. Nine twenty five, nine sixty one. 
look how blue that flame is getting. And that, and that is because we're, we're starting to, we've flashed off the volatiles, we're into the carbon. 999, almost a thousand degrees now. Nine ninety three up to a thousand degrees. Good. Now, how does this compare with the coal? As far as from your point of view, anything. Well, um, it's a little cheaper to burn than I think the coal. Yeah. And it's certainly greener. Than the coal, it basically goes hand in hand. You know, it's uh, with the way things are going, everybody's moving over to trying to do things green and better ecology and recycling and everything else. Um, it's definitely a plus. You know, it's a renewable resource. That's the best thing about the pellets. They burn clean. They don't smell. They're easy to deal with. They're cost effective. Um, It's a win-win situation for everybody, the consumer, the manufacturer, everyone.